Hey guys, so I forgot to do an intro, but today I will be showing you guys how I straighten my hair with a little twist. When I straighten my hair, I usually just do um, rollos. I don't know how to say that in, Spanish, in English, but I do rollos and then I sit in the dryer for like about an hour and a half until it's actually dried. And then I do blow dry and I don't pass a flat iron. I never, I haven't used a flat iron in like two years. Yeah, like, no, actually three. I haven't used an iron in three years. So I don't, I don't, sh I don't use a flat iron on my hair just because it damages my curls. I only do blower. And also because I don't really like when my hair is flat. I still, even though I'm straining my hair, I still want it to be voluminous and nice. So I do not use a flat iron. But today, I got my hands on the Revlon hair dryer, and I'm going to test it out and see how it works for my hair and let you guys know if I think it's worth your money. I just wash and condition my hair. Every time I straighten my hair, I always apply a mask before I straighten my hair just because I feel like it keeps my curls intact so that when I wash it again, it's not dry or brittle and it's still good. My curls are still intact. I'm just going to go in with the deep treatment mask of Shea Moisture and apply that to each strand of my hair. I already applied the mask and now I'm just going to wait an hour and then I'll come back and start the process to straighten my hair. So an hour has passed and I'm just going to wash this mask out of my hair. I just washed out the mask out of my hair and I'm just going to untangle my hair with no product in it. Now that my hair is untangled, I'm just going to part it so that I can finally start this process. Now that my hair is parted, I'm just going to go in with this heat protecting spray on my hair and I'm going to just do it strand by strand but I'll just do it when I'm going to heat up each strand so just spray it so this is the first strand as you can see, it's very voluminous and it is a voluminous dryer. It says it on the box, so I'm not disappointed and I love having volume on my hair as well.
So this is the final result of my hair. Don't mind my ends, I have to cut them. But I'm actually very surprised with the ending. I actually like how my hair looks. It's a bit more voluminous than it usually is. But I definitely do like it. And it's so much easier than going to the salon and having to wait three hours just to get your hair done. It definitely can straighten curly hair because I have curly hair and I thought it wasn't going to work because I've always I've always heard of like hair dryers for curly hair and things like this but it never works for my hair and this is actually the first one that actually works so I applaud Revlon for this if I had to rate this from a one to five I would definitely give it a five the only con that I don't like about this, it is a little bit more voluminous than I usually like it to be. But then again, it is a voluminous hair dryer, so what more can you ask for? So I'm just going to go in with this oil that I have from OGX. It's called the Argan Oil of Morocco Weightless Healing Dry Oil. It's a spray, but I just put it on my palm and spread it out through my hair. I don't put it on my roots just because I have very oily hair. So if I put it on my roots, it's going to be too much. I just put it on my ends, especially since my ends are dead. I have to cut them soon. The good thing about this hair dryer was that it did actually touch my roots and my roots just aren't wet or anything. My hair is completely dry. I feel like that's a problem that I've always had with other hair dryers like these. You can literally put the hair dryer on your head and it's not gonna burn you. So that's what I really like about it. You can just put it on your head with confidence knowing that you're not gonna get burned or hurt. I am definitely going to do this again. I love the result of my hair. And yeah, I hope that you guys can try it out as well. This blow dryer may not be for everyone because not everyone likes having their hair so voluminous when it is supposed to be straight. But I like it and I'm going to stick with it. You can like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching.